be L. They play double cloud L, so actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they counter pick us with double cloud. It was legal at the time. Uh, as, you know, transition, <laughs> we find ourselves in game one here of winner semis. TM7 Zap here been on a complete tear since his journey back and forth between Tri-State as per typical in the summers, but getting a win on Rivers at, not Rivers, uh, Riddles okay. at CEO, I believe, and aren't able to then also win No Johns, happening a regional over in Philly, upsetting and beating players like, uh, like Jackal. Total dominant run here, feeling great. But Zamba's the big boss. He's the big dog. Like, yes. the, many other players are susceptible to being caught off guard and getting catching your own brand of like really good player skill. But it feels like Zamba is just such a hard defense check. Can you keep him out? Yeah, no, definitely. This guy, kind of the low tier killer in a sense. Yeah. He fought, fights Yoda Cage fairly often when he traveled to many of the events before this Steve Man. And actually never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take that back. And would just go against like many characters like this. And it's been really hard to like beat Samba. Like even if like against top players, but when characters aren't as strong as others, you can see Zamba like kind of flex out a bit more. Yeah, that, I completely agree here, Reggie. Like that's we're starting to see like a little bit more reposition of the neutral. Uh, Zap looking a whole lot stronger when it comes to like those initial hits, but Zamba just able to find so much value in, especially in these edge guards. Twice over now, first on an arm raider, second on a back air. It might be free for free. He's able to get a push off stage, but Zap with the challenge there to not let Zambo have his way. Yet he just oh continues to reset. Gosh. What a beautiful nair. We talk about American resets. That was a good one. Yeah, a straight American right there. Yeah, right on that American air dodge, to yeah. be sure. Oh, the gyro play coming in clutch here for Zamba. It's going to set up for a backer. Yes, he is. Missing the catch, though. That's a loss of frames and therefore a reset back to neutral, but only for a little bit of time. Yeah, and he's still not in, like, a bad situation right here. Zap is at the corner and free grab right here. So, yeah, going to yeah, get hit by the gyro. Stall a bit more. If even if he went to ledge, he gets a bit more invincibility time right there. All right, just a couple of ledge traps though. Trying for the cannonball zap. And, like that's the hard part about keeping Rob pinned. You have to waste so much time with empty threat range in order to make sure that Rob will eventually burn through that gas as a zap. Looking for a couple resets of his own. 142, certainly possible if you play it right. But Zamba able to air dodge through the. Uh, the ejection. Yeah, and that's just that shows again. like how much gas like Rob has. Just ability to go so high and force so many resources just to go back to life and say, yeah, I don't care. Yeah, was, Rob is just one of the best characters at making his own space. Not necessarily out of buttons, though he absolutely can do that. It's the it's the ability just to go as high as he wants to make sure, like, yeah, I always have the space to land with Nair. And if I'm landing with Nair, then I'm resetting neutral. And if I'm resetting neutral, then maybe you're shielding. And I can find grabs like that. Or even if he, like, lands with Nair, I can just kill you off it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so, like, whether this hits or you block it, your, your turn is over. <laughs> it's my turn. <laughs> it's a good Yu-Gi-Oh game. <laughs> yeah. fun, fun game to be had, for sure. <laughs> Rob would definitely play an FDK. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Rob, Rob is Morphtronic FTK. <laughs> you think he's Morphtronic? I think he's, what do you call it? Um, Necro, not Necros, what do you call it? Gisky FTK. Is he get, yo. Yeah. Might, yeah, because he likes to. It's the resource game into take three K. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I, I hit heavy too. <laughs> By the way, if yeah. I mess up, I, I got two three K beaters. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. We've got backup plans on backup plans. And I mean, speaking of hitting hard and hitting fast, there comes the original main from Zap. This Luigi guy guy may not have been able to make it, but we got another Luigi right here, though. The bait from Zamba, yet no punish, able to cyclone out of that really bad spot there. Yeah, and Zamba has struggled with guy guy before. OK, I'll be right there ending the stock right on cue. So guy guy has been one of 
Zombo's bracket demons. Zombo starting to clear him now, taking the last few sets, but definitely was a big problem before, and Zap is showing why it could be a problem. Oh my Rob is God. so big. <laughs> He's trying to up smash the <laughs> <laughs> trying to Huge up smash the Cyclone, missing a couple of these edge guards. Just trying to, all you really need to do is get in the way there. And Rob has so much gas, as you were saying earlier, Reggie, that recovery is never a problem, even if you get hit by the Cyclone itself. Uh-oh. Uh -oh, yeah, uh-oh, indeed. I mean, sometimes you match a little bit too hard, and the Cyclone, you're able to get out of the combo, but you're not able to escape. Okay, good DI away from... Zombo right there. And now just avoiding the ledge trap going high. I love Zombo's. I'm love and consistently impressed by Zombo's recognition of whether or not down tilt trips or not. Like yeah. how, how many he's able to extend, if he's able to immediately get a grab or go for jabs. Like it's just like really solid minor optimization of a tool you're going to be using a lot. Yeah. And, and you know, it, it's just the fact that Many people just mashed in that situation, and he's the... I can't react to it, but he's able to react. Yeah, he's just able to anticipate and find a solid positioning. Just that forward tilt, though, to send off stage, looking for the big edge guard, and Zap trying to find that spike, finds a proper punish, yet getting the sour spot. Still a good spot here for Zap, though, and you challenge Zamba, trying to get off of ledge aggressively. Looking pretty good here, but you need to find this grab. You need to find this starter that could also be a down tilt, could be a Zerk. So much of Luigi is the danger zone right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh -oh. I hope this is it. All the stage. Great SDI to the corner just to get off the situation. And going high again. Yeah. That's, That's tough. Wanted to get to ledge there after that super jump punch. And you just don't have any resources when you're sent that far out. One green missile, maybe a double jump. Yeah. Rob seals your fate 10 ways from Sunday. He's really good at that. Yeah, he's really good at it, too. Yeah. So, guess what? We have one of the, like, pre quarantine like, once we got outside of quarantine, the Xeno Classic. Oh, baby. Zombo versus Tilde. Ooh. This, that's a good one. Yeah, this, this seems to be a staple. Yeah, like every week, like, yeah. Some, something like this would be happening. And, you know, it was always so funny to watch these two go through eras even after post-quarantine, yeah. where it's like Zamba would be playing his heart out with Rob and like finding these clean edge guards and just ending Zom ending Tilde's whole career. Tilde able to bounce back, like just consistently clipping.